if you watched my video on organising my fabric swatches, then you'll see that I initially thought I'd store my fabric designs in little folio books. This is because I had gathered lots of fabric samples from selling my designs on Spoonflower, and I wanted a neat way of storing and displaying them. However, I never actually finished this project and thought that it was sad that my designs were all hidden away in folders and cupboards. So last year, after spending time with my patchwork-loving friend Maggie, I decided to turn my designs into cosy quilts to gift to my family at Christmas. I started by grouping designs together into colour coordinating batches, as I knew I wanted to make a blue toned quilt for my mum and a pink colourway for my gran. Then I worked out a simple block pattern of squares and rectangles that I thought showed off the artwork of the fabric the best. Next it was on to cutting and matching the pieces with plain fabric from my stash. Then it was time to get sewing. The block pattern that I went for had a central large square, four smaller corner squares and four rectangles. And for each quilt I made 15 blocks in this way, five squares over three rows. The blocks were then joined together into strips using a coordinating fabric that I found in my fabric stash. I used a pretty peach fabric with subtle flower patterns for my grand quilt and a light blue fabric with tiny white triangle detail for my mum's. I picked these fabrics as I thought they worked well with my fabric designs without being too busy or overpowering. I worked on the quilts in the evenings and on weekends to get them finished in time for Christmas. There was lots to do for each one and as they were my first quilts I'd ever made, it was a learning process along the way.
When it came to adding the wadding and the backing fabric, I was super happy to find fleece blankets in my local charity shop that were made from recycled clothing. Plus, they were the exact size I needed to back the quilt. the quilts was making and hand sewing on the binding. I had never done this before but luckily Maggie kindly stepped in to show me. She gave me a lesson on how to make the binding, sew the edges and how to get crisp neat corners. Not only that but she gave me a practice piece to try first. Once I had given the practice piece a try, it was straight on to binding the quilts. What do you think of the finished results? I'm so pleased with how they turned out. Don't worry, I ironed them again before gifting them. But I'm just so happy I could use my fabric designs in a useful way. And I'm so pleased to say that both my mum and my gran loved their quilts. <laughs>